Is it going to fucking... All right. God damn. All right. G from Long Island. Hello. Hello? Who's uh, this? Is, is this the uh, o- Opie show? <laughs> For the first time in how long? Two years. Two years, three months. It's Anthony Cumia. Greg Opie Hughes, ladies and gentlemen, on, on my fucking show. Wow. This is crazy. I don't think I should be here right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Anthony? Wait, oh, who's the, who are you on with? Mercurio of all fucking people. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, there's somebody <laughs> fucking in here. Uh, I'm gonna. Do I have the points? Do yeah. I have the points for this? I'm gonna have him run to give uh, someone a blowjob in a synagogue. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be that desperate that you would have Paul Mercurio on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> here we go, Mr. Afternoons. Oh my oh, god. How, how, how bad did it get that you have Paul Mercurio on? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, um. To put it uh, simply, Paul Mercurio came in right after Jeff Norris left. <laughs> <laughs> Getting all the big stars. I yes. I heard, you, I heard you had Paul Bond coming in. <laughs> good old Paul Bond. That's oh, good. Uh, nice oh, oh, Opie, that, yeah. that, that kind of jab would carry a little more weight if you didn't have Rich Voss sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let me. Just, that's uh, Take it. that's fantastic. Take uh, it. What are you gonna do? Discuss that new show, The Sopranos? <laughs> oh, 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 okay, Sybil. Nice talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you, turncoat. Go fuck yourself. Oh, your, shut up. In your stupid Garmin District fucking studio. Oh, that that that's great. When does Bonnie tell you you have to leave, Rich? <laughs> 15, 15. <laughs> 15. At least I'm not going to go help her with our homework. <laughs> wow. Yeah, believe me, you couldn't help a first grader with their homework. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking retard. Hey, hey, this isn't about me. This is about two guys getting back and talking, okay? A little weird. Uh, a little it weird. Ob- obviously. A little weird. A little weird, obviously. Um, We've uh, it's gonna be, now it's gonna be spawned that I'm desperate and how to get no, no, right. no, no, uh, no. I, I don't think anyone here is desperate. Um, I am. we, I am, we <laughs> have, uh, I think we could be in agreement that Voss is desperate. Yeah, oh, God, Voss is always desperate, uh, trying to sell his wares. He, he actually handed me a CD. I, 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 I don't know about you, but I haven't had a CD player in... in what like, <laughs> year is this? Exactly. That was the last time it's you saw he, a CD spit out of your dashboard. Right, exactly. He ran out of 8-track, so he it's had to like, go to CDs. Yeah. <laughs> Was that Mercurio? Yes, it was. Oh, yes, it was. Stop yes. <laughs> there we go. He can never right. take it. He can never oh, no, no. fucking take like it. the headline. Oh, 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 you're a great middle act. Go ahead. Take out the Rolodex of fucking shit. Jesus Christ, this is some army we've constructed, <laughs> Opie, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, How it's, have we become? It's, oh me, it's, it's, it's me and Opie uh, uh, feuding with two pea shooters shooting at each uh, other. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, now you're fucking attacking me. <laughs> well, I have to. You know what? The you, most brilliant thing days. said today was Garmin District fucking show. Rich Voss is a brilliant guy. That's yeah, all right. In the old days, we had uh, nuclear warheads. <laughs> oh, now now we're just l- now throwing. We're home dark. It's literally a, a child's <laughs> dirt two, bomb fight. Why don't you two assholes take it off of us and fucking say something to each other? Yeah, um, you know what? I you know what I liked real quick, and then I'll bow. The second you called, you two started laughing together. And you know what it oh. made me feel? It made me. Oh, it, no, it, shut up. You sound like a fag. Oh, Isn't that good? What is this? What do you, you know? My I, shut the fuck up and get on the side. I heard right Anne Frank had a chuckle with the Nazis, yeah, too, exactly. at some point. Wash your bus oh, wow. out of the Port what Authority's late. Get over the there. the Nazis in within five minutes of a call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to scare you off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fucking Jew. I could feel, <laughs> I, I could feel the hairs on my little arms go up when you two started talking. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Oh my god. Hey, hey, Ope. Yeah. Did uh did you hear from um your brother and my brother? What do you mean? They're they're ch- talking, uh they're texting each other about like almost an intervention of throwing us in the same room just so we chit chat. Which, which brother? Brett. Uh, oh, Brett from F. H. Riley's. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Brett and uh, Oh, Brett didn't fucking tell me that. Yeah, Brett and Joe have been conspiring 
to try to uh, get us in the same room or some hey, look shit. Look at Opie's picture. He looks like a hobo off a train. Look what? At that. No, that was from a uh, a uh, TV show. I'm not sure. Which show? Uh, which show? Um, the TBS show. I'm oh, the kidding. I only did one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Um, uh, I, I, I do uh, appreciate Keith reaching out to me. Yeah, Keith's uh, a good egg. He threw a fucking Hail Mary last week, but uh, I'm like, Keith, I, there's too much to unwind. Too much to yeah. unwind, Anthony, in a week. Well, yeah, it's only been two years of uh, deconstructing 20 years. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, we should, you know what? I'd be totally open to uh, getting together somewhere, hanging out, and uh, having a little chit-chat. Nice and light. Keep it light at first, just kind of re reacquainting ourselves. You do it at Union and, Hall on uh, stage. Do it at Union Hall. Do it at Union Hall on stage, with right. The, yeah, yeah, we'll make people. it an appearance. <laughs> Why don't you guys do it this week in Cuyahoga Falls? I'm at the funny shop. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen to Rich. That's <laughs> all he can do. You could all stay at his Howard Johnson hotel room afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh God! Paul. Why don't you? Stop. Why don't you tell Opie what you were just saying on the air about what he should do with his new show? Is oh, I, 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 I was saying like uh, obviously the Opie and Anthony thing like right. is is done. I mean that's obviously done, and right. and just a reinventing of your show, like it's your show instead of remnants of some other show. Uh, I, I'm, of course. Yeah. I, I feel like a free man finally. Nothing against Jimmy, but now I feel like okay, the O and A thing is officially over. Right. And and in the future, if uh, I don't know, um, other things happen, then it'll be a brand new, different thing. Yeah. So the, I feel I feel that like in my bones that it's finally over. So the reinventing gonna... is having Rich Voss on your show. <laughs> <laughs> He got to the V's. <laughs> <laughs> he got to the V's. You got to transition away slowly. You can't do a cold turkey. Oh, shit. He's literally the only one that said yes. <laughs> I'm in a bad spot. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I, so uh, I, I, uh, I, uh, I burned a few bridges. <laughs> you burned fucking tunnels. Oh, my God. Burned a few bridges. It looks like Dresden. Yes. The, uh, what, what happened with... Uh, like management, are you are you on the outs with those guys? Ah, oh, dude, when when have I not been? Yeah. I, there was a couple of years there though. It was, but it was pretty good. A couple a of solid years, years where it wasn't a too bad. A few good years, yes. I they wanted a they wanted a multi year deal, and I said no fucking way. It's exactly um, what he was saying before about him. He was saying that you would never take the long term deal. You'd always insist that you guys take like a one two year. I was deal. like, take a ten year. Deal. He's like, you should take a ten year okay. deal. <laughs> I made a, I, I look. I made us money doing it that way. I know it got a little ugly, but they want to sign us for like three years at the same fucking salary, and I'm like, no, we do two, and then we can negotiate. We will get a tiny little bump up for that third year. You still uh, using uh, Eatman? Yeah. Uh, Eatman is uh, kind of backfired this year, huh? Eatman is, uh, <laughs> oh, not quite the super agent line that he used to be at. It's kind of the. Yeah. No, when I really looked at it, I'm like, I think he made one good deal for us in 20 years. <laughs> let's, <laughs> but let's keep him on fuck. board. Fuck it. Why not? How about, yeah. how about this? How about this? Bob, I go, Bob, it's obvious things are getting weird around Sirius XM. How about you get me one meeting? <laughs> something. What? Something different. One meeting that I could at least go to and go and see what's up. How? Yeah, no, it's do, not good. Can you believe how long Mercurio fucked our careers up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it all comes full circle today, boys. Look, I broke. I had some. Tell the story when I saw you in Philly and I was in the front row. You were uh, you were warming up for Brian Regan, I believe. Yeah, I opened for Brian Regan and I looked down and there's this fucking asshole who wouldn't return my call for three years to go back on his show. And he was like, "No, nah, there's not a problem." And then fucking, I can never get back on the show. <laughs> no, we don't blame you. Give a call. Give a call. We'll yeah, set you right yeah. up. Call, get in touch yeah. with Roland. Yeah. No he's problem. Telling the, he's telling the boring story. So I'm in the front row, and he's doing crowd work, and he's, like, just feeling good going down the row. And then all of a sudden he gets to me, sees my face, and it was like he saw a fucking ghost, and he was like, ah. So he stumbled and stammered and then moved past me. And that's when I... <laughs> oh, said, oh, shit. Dude, I, I don't have... I, you know, I'm, I'm fucking livid what happened, but I'm, I'm, I'm good. We're good now.
Everybody that looks at you sees a ghost because you're you wait. You you said problem. then you were good. You never been good with it. You ne you always say to my face I you're good it. with it, and then you never fucking return my call to oh. come on your shows. You never oh, did. I, I you're full of shit. Those. Don't fucking I, say that. I don't I care, want, I don't, but you can't I, have it both ways. I, you can't I, fucking I, say to people I, I that you were fine with it, and then you fucking ah, would never have me on your show again. <laughs> I, am, I am good with it, but I didn't want you back on the show. Then you should have told me that instead of telling me to, yeah, call me, and I'll have you on. Paul, I put you on my show, and even though he told me not to. but I wouldn't I go on your show if we fucking had a show. <laughs> Rich, Rich, my guy's destroying your guy. What are you doing? I'm, I'm laughing. I'm a double agent. <laughs> I'm going to go with the winner. Uh, what the fuck, dude? Get in there. Right now, I'm not going to attack Mercurio. Get in there. Suffer no, the Rich and I are fine. We're all fine. I don't care I don't anymore. I don't Mercurio. Mercurio, I sat and talked with Mercurio at the summer one night, and he... He dislikes a lot of the same comics I dislike. So <laughs> right, I exactly. Me, That's how comics know like that they're more. exactly yeah, that and they're they together. I went on Bonnie and Rich's show and had a great time, and I don't. I'm not fucking pissing anybody, and if anybody's pissed at me, fuck I it. I really don't have a problem with you. But also, Paul, I, I really don't. Paul, when you go to somebody and you put them on the spot and go, "Hey, have me on the show." You know, they're going to say, give me a call. That that happens with clubs. I didn't put him on. Look, I didn't put him on the spot. At some point, we, uh, we, you know, everybody had to have a little bit of a conversation, especially me with people. And, uh, you know, the conversation, hang on a second. The conversation conversation with Opie wasn't cornered. I'm like, hey, put me on. We kind of cleared the air. And then I didn't even ask then. It was sort of through a text and whatever. And I get, look, if you don't want to have me on, you don't want to have me on. And that's fine. But, you know, just, you know, it was sort of about, like, you know, just say it. And that's it. Then I just stopped asking because I knew after like a couple of times, I just stopped asking because I knew it wasn't going to happen. It's no big deal. I'm not pissed at anybody. It was uncomfortable for a little while. What are you going to do? Well, I didn't. I look, I never even talked to you guys for like three I'll, I'll, I'll years. I'll I literally didn't talk to anybody for three years. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you if Voss said no today, man, I would have fucking called. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I would, I fucking, I get it. If I were in your shoes, I, if I were, if I were in your shoes, I would have been pissed at everybody. Everybody would have been radioactive. Attached to that, everybody. I never, I never heard more excuses today in my life. Me, me and Opie just, me and Opie are gonna sit in a room with a, a wall full of comics, and it's like, all right, I'll trade you Big J for Sherrod. Uh, let me, I need a, I need a Bill Burr. Uh, when I was driving today in, I almost said maybe I should just run my car into the wall, right. so that I could get out of it. By popular demand. Everybody show. It, they're all. You guys are all. You know what? Oh, it, uh, uh, forget it. Whatever. Uh, was, Can I just was, say uh, something well that I well said? Well said. Can I just well say something out. about Opie? I said enough earlier. Well I out. said enough earlier. Anthony, I was saying that you two should sit down and fuck. I said it earlier. And 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 oh, I wow. saying it forever. What a brilliant new thought we haven't read on Twitter. <laughs> oh, listen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. But <laughs> let me. He just, he just wants it to be his idea. Of it's course. Idea. Yeah, he it's thinks he's. Uh, hey, listen, I agree with Rich. He's got a good idea. And let me say something that I said to oh, that I said to Fuckwad over here about Opie. <laughs> Fuckwad. Oh, uh, uh, Opie. Time in two and a half years, and this guy's just babbling with those big lips of his. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're back, everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> we're back. Oh my god. Oh. The guy loses his hair and he gets angry at everybody. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, at, le at least it's not Rich Voss feeling like uh, he's Jimmy Carter with Monopoly. Malcolm Bagan. And, uh, uh, wow. Nice. <laughs> kind of, kind of Sadat. Sadat and Bagan. Ah, uh, yeah. we have a peak that'll last forever. Yeah, good. Good. You're talking about a superpower. Yeah. What? Rich Foss. You doing good, Anthony? I'm doing pretty good, Hope. It's, uh, you know, it's been a um, pretty, um, it's a challenge to uh, build something from, from nothing. Uh, and of course, and I don't know. You made have you might have heard some legal wranglings that have been in the news, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> things were going too well for him, and he's we're, like, you know what? Let me <laughs> let me add some other shit to my life. Oh, we're we're get, we're getting through them. Uh, you know, it's getting, it's it's all the, good. You're getting through the legal stuff. Yeah, by December it should all be uh, taken care of. I have to go to. Uh, like alcohol meetings, and uh, I, I just finished up <laughs> my, my batterers' intervention meetings and things. Uh, but uh, yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, come on, with with my lifestyle and everything, uh, of course, something was going to blow up in my face. Do you uh, wink, wink? Oh, I was hoping there's one of your guns. What? Nothing. Go ahead. Stepped up. Uh, stepped oh, up blow up, up in my uh, face. Yeah. What the fuck? Is I, I, I was going to say, do you do you wink, wink? Miss the drinking. Uh, no, I, you know, I, I went to rehab and, uh, 
How you was know, that? as they say, one day at a time. It was actually pretty fun. He brought a yeah. case with him. Uh, yeah, a case of crabs. <laughs> I don't know if they want you to. I don't know. I don't know if they want you to like admit that rehab was fun, though. Well, no, I don't mean like like I thought it was going to be kind of like prison, and it turned out it was a real nice place. Artie recommended it. Uh, and and uh, he's a legend down there. It was nice. A pool. <laughs> it's great. in Florida. <laughs> they have the Artie Lang Suite there. It's uh, you can amazing. buy his you can buy his eight tracks and CDs. You could tell because yeah. you could literally put a safe on the bed and it won't collapse. <laughs> <laughs> Artie's big, heavy yeah, man, heavy man, big size. Yeah, is yeah, it, but you know, it's uh, isn't it weird. Isn't it weird to that, that all like the Stern guys are doing uh, both shows? Isn't that fucking strange? Yeah, having like you know John and uh, and Artie and, Artie and Jackie and, and stuff. Jackie and Gilbert. <laughs> yeah, and then finally, yeah, Gilbert was really fun to have on, man. I, I loved him. He's uh, he's a good guy. And then uh, yeah, you know, you kind of you, you're forced to do what you have to do, kind of a thing. Uh, uh, right. Projecting and trying to think of what you should do uh, is not a healthy thing. And you know, one day at a time, as they say. Let me ask you one question. All right. It's not heavy lifting. Thought he was going to hang up on me. Do oh, you? my God. Oh, no, no, no. It would have been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of shit uh, over this over the years. Really? You honestly think I didn't stick up for you? Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't think you went to bat um, as a guy that did radio with somebody for 20 years would have went to bat. I never heard one inkling that it happened. So, uh, yeah, I just never thought you you gave it a, a good shot. I I I gave it a I gave it a, a fair shot. That's for sure. I got well, screamed at. They didn't want to hear it at the time. That's just it. I, like a fair shot. They didn't want to hear that? Yeah. Well, the, well. The other thing is, to be fair, I did, I mean, was I was were we gonna get were we gonna continue? At that point, I think did honestly, you honestly, did you honestly think we were? Yeah, I, I honestly think we could have just continued doing uh, good shows. I, I, I really do. You mean like if Opie said I'm walking, if he walks, and you guys go, you guys go do another show? That's what you were thinking. Well, I, either I way, felt, I think I, I, I felt the, I felt the separation was already beginning before that incident, though. It was, but I wasn't sure if we did do something else, whether that would have helped out. Or just the fact that, I mean, you know how a lot of these radio relationships go. Even if, if the um, bottom falls out of the relationship portion of it, the shows are still good. And, and I, I thought the show was still very strong. You didn't think we needed a break at that point? Uh, I, I mean, we were, we were barely talking. I don't know. M maybe, in, in my own mind, maybe uh, going to bat for me when management wanted to fire me might have actually helped the uh the personal oh, no. relationship oh, no. I, I i mean maybe <clears throat> maybe i shouldn't use the the word fair me and jimmy absolutely went to bat and they were screaming at us they were so fucking pissed off at the time and we were trying to say it's not it's not that big of a deal we can get through this because then my thought was i i really did think that we were heading toward a uh we needed a break but I, and this was never said to you, so I got to be, you know, I got to be, I got to be honest with you. My thought at that point was like, wow, we kind of need a break, but I, I didn't want to like blow up the Opie and Anthony brand. That's the stupidest mm -hmm. thing in the world. So I was starting to think we got our own channel. Maybe we can figure out some new, new directions for both of us. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you guys something? I asked the Anthony. I wasn't this. thinking that the whole thing should be, you know, blown up. That's for sure. And well, I what? want people, I want people to know that. I thought we were getting to a place like, mm -hmm. like. You, your interests on the radio show were obviously very different than my interests, and then it was sort of, you know, the, all those years where it worked, we were, we we had a lot more of the same interests, and we were always on the same page. But we started wanting to talk about different things, and yeah, and quite, absolutely. Quite, quite, quite frankly, we were we were looking at each other like, oh, whatever. I'm, I, I'd rather talk about this, and and I saw it in your eyes, and you're like, well, I'd rather talk about this. Yeah, we I, uh, obviously I, I wanna, I, I, very sorry, different yeah. lifestyles. You know, we had... I didn't want. I didn't want to. Uh, but I didn't want to like blow up the whole Opie and Anthony brand. That was that was fucking gold. So, but if both of you say, both of you have said today that my attorney you know, is speaking yes, now. Please, you both of you said today, in all seriousness, like you knew what you had. Why couldn't you bring yourselves to go get a beer one night or talk on the phone and go, look, we both just say what you're saying. We always now. had that bad issue where we never uh, really talked with each other. 
<laughs> well, that's and a good basis for. Post, <laughs> and Anthony got the post. That was always uh, that was kind of a bad thing. <laughs> what, a what a shock that you went through rehab. Oh uh, uh, well, you know. But is there a reason you couldn't just fucking go? Look, we know we have something valuable here that's about to fucking implode. Let's figure this out. I, I, you know, I mean, Ann could, you know, I believe what he's saying, but I, I think we needed a break at the time. But that could very well, well be. I, I, I just wanna, didn't I, like the I, way it happened. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> like, if we did need a break, that was fine. And maybe, you know, I, I just didn't feel like you, you went to bat for me, and then after that could have been like, well, we need a break anyway, but it was just the right. timing of it came off like, oh, now it's just Opie and Jimmy, and 20 years, there goes Ant. We'll see what well, happens. Jim, well, Jimmy never wanted uh, people to think that, you know, he took over for you. No, I, I knew that. There's, you know. But the fans all knew it was Opie and, and Jimmy. He, he could have called the show whatever he wanted, but it was very obvious to everybody it's now Opie and, and, and Jimmy. So Well, whatever. not anymore. No. No, no. You didn't want to do afternoons? Oh, no. No, 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 no. You didn't want to do afternoons ever? Like, even when uh, that Sabian fucking me mental patient Sabian wanted us to do afternoons? Dude, I, I, I uh, ran into him a couple days ago, matter of fact. Hopefully, hopefully with your car. <laughs> that was that fucking mine. It's amazing. Uh, but uh, I, th I think he did bring it up, but I uh, no. No, I did mm. not. I did not. I don't know why that was um, um, spun differently. Yeah, because I, I know he came to me at one point and said, like, I really, and kept harping on it, and I actually had to bring out the contract and say, we're contracted to do mornings. In, right. If you put us in afternoons, I'll claim breach of fucking contract, and he stopped that conversation. But he was under the impression that you wanted to do afternoons, oh, and that's what he told me, so. I believe I believe that's what he told you, but I think he was uh, working, uh, you know, uh, both of us because I, I absolutely did not want that. He he talked about how you know we had our success in the afternoon, so wouldn't it be great? Oh my God, you guys moved to afternoons and uh, you know redo that. But no, especially uh, when I had kids, it's it, like I, I, this. I, I mean, now I don't get to see my my. I, uh, it sounds stupid, but I. When you have kids, you would, I had the chance to be home with them all day, and now, you know, I, mm. I don't see them from 8 in the morning till 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. That's I know, uh, dude, I know I'd exactly the other way. I know exactly how you feel, because I don't see Beavis uh, until late at night. <laughs> <laughs> my, I, my cat. I swear, to you, I swear to you, I thought you were going another way with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but I could still help her with her homework. Oh, jeez! No, believe me, I've um, I've definitely calmed down on uh, the uh, crazy girl uh, uh, front. Seventeen and above, at least until December. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, we, uh, you know, look, we went obviously went in in different directions with our lifestyle, and it 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 came out on the air, and it was a lot more difficult to find common ground to talk about things uh, on the show. I do understand that. But um, the one thing that, that I think was taken away from this whole thing that people don't realize is there was always an appreciation for what we did for each other over the years and, and, and during our careers. Uh, there was never a uh, without him, he wouldn't be famous or without him, he wouldn't be famous kind of a, an angle. It was a team effort. It worked very well. We did very well, and that has to be uh, respected no matter what. Oh, without a doubt. Wow, this is getting really gay. Is that... Oh, shut well, up! Well, maybe if you take my cock out of your mouth... What?! <laughs> it won't be as gay. Oh, come it's on. Fucking, this is great. This Wait. is the best fucking radio you, in the uh... Well, it would be without you, Rich. <laughs> you don't want me to get started, you motherfucker. Oh, wait, we've been waiting for you to get started for 20 years, you fucker. <laughs> Boy, am I throwing him softballs. Oh, yeah, that's what Bonnie says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm rubbing your glue. Uh, Ooh. Listen, what happened there? I, wanna, I don't want to, you know what, I'll, I'll talk to you after the, 
Uh, forget it. I'm not. I'm, yeah. Keep going. You guys are doing great. Keep that. going. Look, the counselor. Yeah. All right, Doc, Dr. Melfi. Uh, no, I do have something to say. I do, but it's it's none of my business. It's uh, hey. when, Rich, when, when Rich talks, it's like those parts in The Sopranos right before the end when they would go to Melfi, and he's like, oh, fuck! <laughs> fuck, it was getting good! All uh, right. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm not taking sides in anything, too. Yeah. But when you say, did... This is. I'm going to get a shit storm on Twitter, but I'm coming on your show in a week or two. So, all um, right. But here, oh, you're coming back in thing. here? Yeah, of course. I told where are you? Where are you going to tell Bonnie you're going? I told you. you listen, look at. I we talked on the phone. So don't I know, talk Rich. We did. I had a, I had a great conversation with Rich okay. the other day. It was okay. uh, it was very cool, okay. and uh, okay. I, I I get it. Please. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you only not as fucking radio people, as somebody who's sober who went to rehab and. Okay, when you're drinking, you're blaming. You're saying, and I'm not taking Opie's side. I'm just going from the alcoholic standpoint. You're saying, did Opie stand up for me? Hey, guess what? You didn't stand up for yourself because after all oh, that, after all that, shit. after all that shit happened, you could have came out and said, "Hey, I fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm going to go get help." And I still then don't you think could I fucked up. Had your job, right? I is still don't true? think I fucked. Yeah, but I, but I don't think that would have saved his job. They were no, they, they were they were, were hell no, no, bent on they, shutting Paul, him down. I'm not talking to you. Shut up, Paul. I'm talking. To I don't I don't think that would have saved his job. They were help. Fucking, if so, you can't expect uh, people to help you unless you're helping yourself. That's all. I uh, yeah, I, don't I agree know. with that. That's that's good, Rich. Why don't you also say that the Jews should have apologized to the Nazis? Well, because you know, that's because that's what you're that's what you're implying. That's what you're implying. I should have done. I always bring it back to Jews and Nazis with Rich. I no, but I think what Rich Wait. is saying is if you, if you came off more contrite or whatever and apologetic, maybe it could have saved your job, but I don't think it could have. I don't think it could have. They, they were just shut down. I don't think Rich makes a bad point. Uh, I know. I, I, st I still work here. I can tell you this. Uh, it, it probably would have helped. Oh, yeah? I swear. Is that reasonable? Well, we talking. Because Scott, I mean, Scott Greenstein's pretty much over it, but... Uh, you know, upstairs, maybe not so much. <laughs> yeah, I maybe loved upstairs. So and, 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 <laughs> that upstairs. Is I love that upstairs. Yeah, that upstairs is a little rough. But, uh, <laughs> but that's, that's <laughs> so you, I mean, you know, you double down. That's your thing. And, and absolutely double down and, and stuck to his guns. That's got to be respected. Yeah, but, I, but I think if, if he would have let it go a little bit, uh, you know, but then again, maybe I wouldn't have wanted to come Hey, back. hey, Opie, here's, there. Opie, here's another thing, though, honestly. Remember what we were doing for a good fucking year, at least, leading up to that? Was saying, oh, here's another fucking pussy apologize. We were doing, playing the apologies and mocking everyone that was apologizing as they got in trouble. And then I could not in any way, shape, or form... Tr be that guy. We had we had that, geared that, it up so much that, that it was almost a, impossible. That put you in a tough spot. That it did you. with the credibility okay. with uh, the fans and everything, man. Oh, that was uh, listen. I was yeah, yeah. I wait, was wait, truly. Wait, wait, wait. You got you still got credibility with the fans. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? How's that feel? Oh, with <laughs> the, at least two I or three need, of I them. I know from the land that's far, far away from here. Oh my God! <laughs> Holy. Fuck you, Rudy. Oh, why oh. did I with you fucking ass? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Auntie, that wasn't pro Opie or anti-Auntie. I'm just saying from, from a, a, you know, looking at it from an aspect, was there a way that you could have got around it without apologizing but still trying to, you know what I'm saying, without going, I'm sorry, but, hey, you know, I didn't mean this as a fucking ra Whatever. You know what I'm saying. It was uh, it was very difficult, like I said, because of the reasons I, I just said. And also it was uh, very difficult because there's no way, especially then, to try to squeak out of being called a racist on social media. Especially uh, two years ago when it was really starting to kick up. I think now it's kind of lost its oomph. I think people can say things on social media now and not have so many people pile on. And, and uh, the people that pile on have that... Uh, ability to have you removed from your job because people are just sick right. of it right. at this point. But at that time, you were done, man. Yeah. You were fucking done. So all right. So I, I uh, then I stand corrected. I'm just seeing once it again. From, you know. Yeah, but I also right. got to say, I got to say, like objectively, because I was oh, totally God. on the outside. God. That anybody who fucking heard him get fired for that. Anybody who got anybody who heard him get fired. I let your flunky speak for a little yeah, while. Thank you very much. <laughs> 
Put some duct tape on his mouth if you can. You fucking asshole. <laughs> I thought of all the fucking things that you guys did over the years, that was not the thing for him to lose his job over. That's true, too. A lot of people said that. I did not think that, that was gonna, you were going to lose your job over I was. I was certainly uh, very surprised, yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you uh, are you googling black topics right now, Ant? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. If you notice, I've laid way off on any racial shit, uh, especially on social media, and uh, even on the show. What's on your black radar today? <laughs> What's on the black radar? Let me see if I even have something. What's on your the black on the, radar? Uh, oh, by the way, the paper crinkling open. It's called prep. Look into it. <laughs> um, that's, what, that's, what, that's what gay people take for their own days. <laughs> oh, jeez. What do you meant? No, it's... um. The radio show. Well, oh, oh, Bill Clinton's uh, black son. That's <laughs> That was what I had. And I see some here that says Chuck E. Cheese Brawl, so I assume that's black. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually not. I know. I, I saw that clip. I think they oh. were Hispanic. I'm not sure. Which is like yeah. black. Anyway, it's uh, it's it's Wait, fine. He, really, he might have a black son. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's some uh, a kid, uh, yeah, uh, from uh, oh. Arkansas, I think, that said uh, he's Bill Clinton's son. Oh, E Rock said I got the the printout in front of me, uh, which goes back to Anthony's point about show prep. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I've been fishing for three weeks. Oh, my God. Went for a new job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, Rich knocks one out. Jesus Christ. Oh, boy, do they give me a haircut. <laughs> oh. oh, boy, do they give hey, me a haircut Ant around here. Anthony, you're saying, you know, the whole race thing does it, isn't as prevalent right now. You, you, the history, you do not want to go after feminists. This is... They're fucking time right now. These are the people you got to back off of. Yeah, I believe think. me, they're a little mad at me too. <laughs> oh, they, they, uh, hey, yeah. Anthony's trying to line up a date with a 17-year-old black girl and just that a, did, like that's clear. a trivecta right there. Uh, clear uh, me up. Yeah, so every time he talks, I want a quick comedy. Oh, please, I'll keep talking. Here we go. Let's yeah. hit. I'm talking right oh, now. Boy. Can't happen fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't make promises you can't keep. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a little awareness would be nice. First time in two and a half years, this guy's trying to fucking. I know. What is Opie talking to himself? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I <laughs> saw that an oversell. Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh, I love you, Paul. Ah, I love you, dude. Love you. I love you. Oh god. Uh, and th I don't yeah. understand one thing. Yeah. Uh, the sloth. What's that? Uh. Gavin, I didn't, really, I, didn't, I didn't really understand that one. Gavin McInnes one day called you a torpid sloth. And right. I think torpid made, made the sloth even slower. Right. Uh, I, I get what was the actual gag there? It was a couple of years I ago. I didn't I really understand that one. Just, uh, I don't know. Maybe it was an effort thing. I'm effort? not sure. What the fuck? Hey, the guy managed to get himself thrown out of vice. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> Effort. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Now, look, I know. I was pretty lazy on the job. Please, believe me. I understand that. And I, I, I do have to say, I literally haven't talked to you in uh, two years. Two years, months. yeah. I, and I, I didn't, I, I really didn't uh, watch pretty much any of your shows because it was just like, ugh, this, it, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I know. I, I didn't really I, listen either to any uh, any of yours. It's one of those. A lot of Anthony's fans I, feel that way. When I called you human garbage and you showed up the next day in a garbage bag, that fucking made me laugh pretty Hello? fucking hard. That was, that was a good one. <laughs> I, I did <laughs> like, I did like that one. I'm not going to lie. Not gonna, who are you talking to, Colin, Rich? Colin, Colin's calling. Oh, what? All right. And, uh, and oh, I, I also want to clear this up. I was never under an assumed name on, on Twitter saying anything about anyone. That, uh, that really annoys me um, when it happens to me and people, you know, under assumed names or something. Uh, but, no, I, I never did that. I wasn't any of the people that were uh, giving you grief on, uh, on Twitter. If I had something to say, I would, I would either say it on my show or tweet it under my own name. But, uh yeah, I was I wasn't pulling any of those shenanigans. All right, we'll let that sit there. I, <laughs> I believe you're. I believe you're, you. You had a fine army that uh, did a lot of your dirty work, though. 
Well, we we raised a bunch of fans that would do things, uh, pretty nasty things to uh, people that we would direct them to. But I never Ooh. literally directed them to you. They, you know, they pick up the ball and run with it. All Listen, those, I can tell all those you, Jocktober fucking Facebook pages that they would desecrate. I can tell you firsthand, fucking, your fans are very loyal. They're animals. If you amazing. fucking do something against yeah. you guys, I took a rash of shit for Believe a Believe me, they've turned on me too, Hope. You're talking right now with, uh, let's see, Tranthony. Um, <laughs> uh, another one they called me was Tranpa. Uh, and there's... Um, uh, z zits. Remember, they were calling both of us tits and zits. That was a good one. Uh, right. And the worm. They would call Jimmy the worm. It, it was a bunch of of things. You know, we took, we all took a lot of shit. You you took a fuckload of shit at the beginning. Um, apparently, I don't know. Did you step on someone's cake? Oh. I didn't notice that. On oh. the. <laughs> I Come loved out. how they was trying to get you fired for that. I think. I think because like I was looked at as the fucking boss too. It made it. I'm. I'm not the boss. Uh, fuck all that shit. You were. Uh, fuck you all that shit. That cake was three, four years ago. Uh, right? That's yeah. whatever. Oh. It's gonna always pop up. What are you gonna do? But all right. Yeah. Hey, Anthony. Yeah. Can yes. You please tell your fans that we're friends. Okay. Because I. I really don't want to deal oh. with it tonight. Hey, Julie. Please hang up hey. on him. We, <laughs> we, uh, Rich, we're friends. Come on, I know that. And and oh, yeah. uh, I'll I'll give you a text, and we'll yeah. uh, we'll set something up to uh, you know just hang out. Like I said, keep it light. And, are you uh, shaking your head while you're saying that? You're shaking. You're, why are you shaking your I head will, while you're saying that? I will. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I will. Uh, I will keep an open mind. Oh, this All is right. beautiful. I will <laughs> keep an open mind. That's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, Very you good. Schedule. You might as well open your mind too. Oh shit! <laughs> can, can you tell they fucked me pretty bad? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, they really, really fucked me over. It's a wonderful. This is the life oh. we have chosen. Oh, your friends become your enemies. Your enemies become your friends. <laughs> let go. Let go and let Anthony. That's uh, my oh, thing. very I'm good. I, I got to actually go. All right. Uh, oh, very good talking to you. And uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Same here, buddy. All right, man. All right. Take take it hey. easy. All right. See you guys. Uh